And now, our feature presentation. Ali, it's time to wake up. Your mother and father are waiting for you. Ugh, Phyllis, it's Saturday. People are supposed to sleep late on Saturday. Ordinary people, dear. Now, here are your clothes for today. The nuns at school get to wear hotter stuff than that. The limo leaves in an hour, so hurry up. Don't let grass grow under your feet. Another fundraiser, another photo op. Another boring day in the life of Hallie Richmond. Sweetheart. Morning, Daddy. Morning, sweetie. Eat your eggs, baby. They're getting cold. I believe that the young people of this country are the one and only hope for the future. Pass the jam, please. Paul, I mean, come on. I might as well say I'm in favor of mom, apple pie, and puppies. They also want to send a crew to follow you and Barbara around for a day. Follow us, why? You know, a day in the life of the First Lady. Hmm. Pass the jam, please. Thank well, Mr. you. Mr. President, have you seen the latest polls? No. Hmm. Olson. Honey, are you telling me those aren't hair implants? George. Am I wrong or right? Let's not start on that again. You're much better looking than he is. <laughs> right. Hallie, please hurry up. We're leaving in 15 minutes. Can't I stay home just this once? Honey, your father's doing a speech on family, and it would be nice if the people could see his family. <coughs> you still have to go. Daddy. You have to go. Schneider, black suits again. You guys should really try to expand your wardrobe. <laughs> ah! Remember, when you're making your speech, try to work the word family in as much as possible without being obvious. Family. Yes, sir. Like, and in closing, I would just like to say family, 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 family. Like something like that. Maybe one less family. One less, okay. Mr. President. Um, Daddy, did I tell you about the dance next Friday at school? Everybody's gonna be there. Friday, honey, we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be in Houston. But, Daddy, it's the last major dance of the year, and I've already missed all the others. Hallie, dear, it's an election year, so we all have to make some sacrifices. Sacrifices? I go to an all-girls school, and I'm the only one in my grade who hasn't been on a date. Sweetheart, listen, I'm sorry, but it's gonna have to be another time, okay? Is Reed gonna be there today? All of the vice president's children will be there, yes. Including Reed. I hate Reed. He's always trying to make a move on me. Hallie. <laughs> It 
It is my hope that daycare centers like this will help working people, working families, breathe a little easier knowing that their children are safe. I grew up in a traditional family. When we got home from school, there was always somebody there. But things have changed since then. Most of the parents... Listen, there's a great new dance club opening up tonight called Club Alien. What do you say, you and me, huh? Sorry, I don't date out of my species. You don't date at all. Come on, it's not like you've got any other options. You have 10 seconds to get your tentacles off of me. 10, nine, eight, I have one, Seven. the vice president has three. Three, two, one. And I want to finish one. my challenging conversation. <laughs> the past <sighs> my family leave package. <laughs> Show America that we care about our children. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, we have a few minutes. It'll be a great opportunity to work the crowd. Oh, yeah, yeah honey, uh, let's uh, very much about your stuff. Thank you very much. I hate it when he does this. home from the dance tonight. It's been a perfect evening. You pull over by a lake or some other body of water, chicks like that, you put this on. I'm telling you, my friend, she'll lose control. She will lose control and barf on you. You want makeup music, Curtis? Stick with the classics. <laughs> yeah, right. Excuse me, sir. You have change for a dollar? Actually, let me grab that. Okay, uh, come on, give it up. Give up the change. There's some. You're cheap. 50 cents? 75 cents. Come on. There it is. There come it on, is. Duncan. We're in a public place. Uh, speaking of public, look at this. You got this right in public. Check that out. No, I didn't. Look at this. You want to see something cool? We don't want to see that here, Duncan. Come on, look at this. It's really cool. Hey, watch this. Ready? Two rings. Come on, Duncan. Huh? Yeah. Not too bad, huh? That's real cool, Duncan. The babes will be all over you with sticks. Duncan, you got to cut this stupid magic stuff out, all right? People are going to think you're a dork. You know, you guys used to like this stuff. I used to like Sesame Street, too. Now, let's see if you can match and conjure up a date for the dance tonight. Uh, I am not going to the dance. See, the dance is for morons. Don't be such a wuss. Just ask them. I'm not ask. Hey! Hey, what? Hey! Sorry, I didn't get out of your way fast enough, sir. Steve Ellinger. I can't believe that jerk's still hanging around here. At least he was nice enough to flunk out of school. No. Remember uh, that time in sixth grade he gave you a swirly there, Duncan? <laughs> oh, thanks for reminding me of that. Yeah. That wedgie he gave you in the seventh grade? The wedgie, I remember the wedgie. That was good. Look, right there, it's a secret to getting girls. So why don't you give me a number? What, being on parole? No, no. Be aggressive. Girls like a guy who's aggressive and strong, not, not geeks who do magic tricks. Look, both of you, I could get a date for the dance, okay? I choose not to. Yeah. 50 bucks says you can't. I don't know. Hey, come on, Duncan, it's easy money. Whoa, whoa. Unless you're afraid. Afraid! Stop right there! No thank you, not afraid. You guys got a deal, chumps. 50 bucks. I'll bring the date, you bring the cash, all right? No paid escort. And no cousins, Duncan! <laughs> 50 bucks richer. And half of it's money. Right. Okay, Duncan, come on. Gonna be aggressive. That's the next girl you see. The very next one. <laughs> After her. And her. <laughs> Definitely her. Oh, I give up. Oh, hey, excuse me.
excuse me. Do you happen to have this in a smaller size? I... I don't work here. Oh, sorry. It will tell me anyway. Which one do you think would look better on me? And be completely honest. Okay. okay. Hmm? Actually, I think they both look good. <laughs> Typical boy, can't make up your mind. You know, when I said that, I just meant that I'm sure whichever one you buy, it's, uh, it's just kind of great on you. Oh, that's sweet. I'm Hallie. Uh, Duncan. Duncan Fletcher. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what you got there? Oh, it's just something I bought at the Magic Sporting Goods Store. Oh, so what sports are you into? The usual, uh, bungee jumping, some uh, karate, rock climbing. Rock climbing. I've always wanted to go rock climbing, but my dad won't let me. He thinks I'm made of porcelain. Ah, that's a shame. It's a rush. Just, uh, actually just got back from the Grand Canyon. I bungeed off the northern rim. Really? Yeah. Bungee snapped halfway down. Had to tie it with dental floss. It was, uh, uh oh, uh, <laughs> I've got to go. My ride's here. It was really nice meeting you. I, I know this is kind of last second, but I was wondering, would there be any chance that maybe you'd want to come with me tonight, with me tonight, to, like, a dance? A dance? You mean with people our age? Yes. I'd love to. Seriously? Yes. She's gotta be here somewhere. Uh, well, I'll pick you up at seven. Where do you live? Uh, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. It's a big white house, you can't miss it. I'll see you tonight. Okay, I'll see you. 1600, 1600. That was almost easy. Oh. Oh. Jimmy? Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't find one that fit. Bye. Absolutely not. You can't go out on a date tonight. But, Daddy, I don't want to go to another fundraiser with a bunch of rich dorks who have paid money just to eat with us. Hallie, you can't go out with some strange boy you met in a mall. Oh, right. I am sure he is a terrorist kidnapper who was hanging out at the mall just in case I showed up. You know, no one ever asked me if it was okay that you ran for president, even though it changed my whole life. Honey, please. Hallie, can you excuse us for just a minute? Don't bother, it's soundproof. George. I'm not trying to keep her locked up, Carol. It's just we have some special circumstances here. It's not as if she's just a, just an ordinary girl, no, just... No. See, you see, that's just it. She, she is an ordinary girl. Face it, George. We are the parents of a real, live, full-fledged teenager. And incidents like this are gonna happen more often if we try to keep her locked up in an ivory tower. And what about security? That's what the Secret Service are for. You can go on your date. <gasps> thank you, thank you, thank you, Daddy. Now listen to me. When that boy gets here, I want to talk to him. Got it? Got it. You won't. Now, hey, I get a kiss. Wish me luck, Harry. I grew up. You ready for this? Fifty dollars for a couple hunks of cheese and seventy-five for fish eggs. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna need that promotion just to pay for this party tonight. Make sure you laugh at Herb's jokes, dear. He may even make you vice president. Oh, look, Eric. Do nothing, president. He's trying to get reelected. Tracy, those are for the party. Go to your room and play. Go on. Whoa, Art. Did you use that perfume? It's not perfume, it's cologne. Hey, get out of here. Hey, Dad, um, I was wondering, you think I could use a car tonight? Yeah, take the station wagon. Oh, come on, Dad, it's a spring dance. A station wagon is the most uncool car ever invented. Well, BMW is my company car. You're not insured to drive it. Well, I, I mean, I know, but I'm kind of going with the girl. You have a date? Your first date? That's wonderful. Oh, next time, don't use so much cologne, dear. 
What kind of loser would want to go out with you? Tracy, be quiet and give me that. All right, I want you to take this, but only use it in case of an emergency, okay? Um, thanks, Dad. I appreciate it, but you know about the car? I got, I got a date. Oh, yeah. First date, huh? Yeah. Better get that station wagon washed. White House. That is just great. Yeah, she nuked you, Duncan. There goes 50 bucks. If there's a Pennsylvania Avenue South. Name, please. Um, Duncan Fletcher? Say, I was actually just wondering, is there a, a South Pennsylvania Avenue? All right, Mr. Fletcher. Up the driveway, park in the visitor's lot, check in with the guard at the front door. Yeah, but... Drive on. Yeah, but... Drive on. Excuse me. <laughs> Thanks, there might be a little bit of a mix-up here. Um, I, I met this girl named, named Hallie, and I... Hallie, I'll be down in a second, son. Hallie's here? Where else would you expect the president's daughter to be? What? Duncan! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hallie, uh, why didn't you tell me you were the president's daughter? Oh, that? Must have slipped my mind. You can put your arms down now. You're lucky. Last week they strip searched a guy. Really? Come on, I want you to meet Daddy. Daddy? You mean the president? <laughs> yeah. Of our country? Oh, good try, sir. Mr. President, as head of the Secret Service, it's my job to protect you. But I can't do that if you wander aimlessly out into a crowd like you did this afternoon. Then it happens to be an election year. You cannot keep him locked up. He can't be reelected if he gets shot. Yeah, thanks a lot. Ah, Miss Richmond. Excuse me, Daddy. Oh, sweetheart, come on in. Gentlemen, can you excuse me for a second, please? Thank you. Certainly, Certainly sir. <laughs> Daddy, this is Duncan Fletcher. He doesn't look like a terrorist kidnapper to me. Well, you never know about those terrorists, though, do you, gentlemen? <laughs> Duncan, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, sir. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Come on, sit down. Get you something to drink? Oh, no, no, sir. I'm fine. You sure? Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah? Thank you. So, uh, tell me about yourself. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm 17 years old. I live in Arlington. Mm -hmm. um, I attend uh, Franklin High School. And um, I would have voted for you, but uh, I'm too young. Well, that's good enough for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you also, uh, you had your appendix out last year, and uh, after you got your driver's license, you, uh, you got one parking ticket and no moving violations, right? Yes, that, that's right. <laughs> How did you know that? Well, sometimes being president has its, uh, its advantages. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, I don't want to talk to you as a president. I want to talk to you as a, a dad, Duncan. Yeah, a dad with his own Armed Secret Service. There you go. <laughs> as long as you mention that, uh, I'm sure you know that uh, with Hallie, we have certain uh, security problems that, uh, well, Dan, uh, Duncan, this is Mr. Thornhill, head of the Secret Service. 
<clears throat> First of all, today's little incident at the mall illuminates the need for extra restrictions. Therefore, you will limit your dating activities to this list of pre-approved restaurants, movie theaters, and other securable locations. Okay, so, so wait a second. You're saying we can only go to these places and nowhere else? Correct. Nowhere else. Yeah, yeah but see, we were gonna go to We the... were just gonna go to dinner and, and a movie. Good night, Danny. Night, sweetheart. You two have fun. Be back by 11, okay? Sir. Duncan, oh, thank you, nice sir. meeting nice you. Nice meeting you, too. Okay. okay, good night. What about the dance? Don't worry, we'll talk about it later. Oh, Duncan. Sir. Uh, you will be sure to take care of my little girl, right? Of course. Right, because I would hate to have to reinstate the draft just because of you. Good night. <laughs> Come on, Duncan. He was kidding, right? I don't know. Sometimes it's harder to be a dad than it is to be president. <sighs> this is Rumpelstiltskin. We are heading west towards the movie theater with Snow White and the Frog Prince. Copy that. Frog Prince? The Secret Service gives everybody a code name. Yeah, I know, but Frog Prince? <laughs> Dad's been borrowing my car again. <laughs> so, these guys go everywhere with you? Pretty much. <laughs> You're so lucky. You can go on dates, you can go rock climbing. Rock climbing? Didn't you say you were a rock climber? I, I did. I, di I am. I do. I, I climb. I'm, I climb rocks. Yeah. But, um, actually pretty much more now just into the, uh, you know, karate. Karate? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What belt? I'm a, uh, I'm a black belt. <laughs> <laughs> You're just lucky these seats are between us. Just try to think happy thoughts. Are you sure we can't go to the dance? I think we'd have a really good time. Sure we can go. First, we gotta ditch the suits. Ditch a secret service? We can't do that, we'll get in trouble. Come on, Mr. Bungee Climber. If we don't get rid of these guys, we're never gonna make it to the dance. Okay. So what do you have in mind? Supposed to protect them, aren't we? Well, I think he's the one who needs protecting right now. Uh, I was just impaled on a jelly bean. <laughs> Come on, follow me. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is sanitary. Do you like have a wet mat or anything? Dance, right? Right. Just as soon as I stop off and buy some new clothes. New clothes? Why would you want the clothes you have on? Duncan, look at me. What? I, I think you look nice. I don't want to look nice. I want to look hot. I just make a left up here. Would you mind telling me how they even got out of your sight? Well, sir, uh, we, Agent Schneider and I, thought that. Snow White and the Frog Prince were on the floor engaging in some adolescent passion. Well, maybe you'd like to explain that to the President of the United States. Sir, I didn't see anybody like uh, No, sir, I would not. All right. Uh, should we notify yeah. DC police, sir? Not yet. I don't want the media getting wind of this. 
<clears throat> How'd he take it? Oh, all things considered, well. Mr. President, uh, Agent Kelly just reported in. Uh, apparently, Hallie has gotten lost. Lost? Well, actually, we think she and the boy may have deliberately run away. Run away? You mind telling me how a 16-year-old girl can run away from two trained Secret Service men? Uh, we're still trying to ascertain that, sir. Meanwhile, Hallie's out there with no protection. Okay. Hallie, you know Hallie. She's, she's probably just gone out for an ice cream or something. Look, we, we might as well go on to the fundraiser, and as soon as they know anything, they'll contact us. Immediately. All right. All right, we'll go. And Dan, I want you to find that boy's parents and bring them to the fundraiser. I want to talk to them. Yes, sir. Couldn't this have waited until later? Uh, Hallie? <laughs> You've pretty much tried on the whole store. Can't you, you know, just like uh, pick one? No, I can't just pick one. You do want me to look good, don't you? Uh, could you do me a favor? Put these back for me. Sure. Wait, wait. And these? Okay. And wait. These two. What? You have somebody in there making these for you? Jeez. Five. Size. Six. Size. Whatever. This is cool. Oh, Duncan. No more dresses. on your ensemble. Your outfit lacks a certain cohesive element. Like what? Oh, Duncan, this is so you! Yeah, if I were dating someone named Yoko. Come on, I don't know how you got through 16 years of your life without this outfit. It's gonna take me another 16 years to pay this outfit off. Well, it's on sale and you've got a credit card, right? Well, yeah, but I, I can't use it. I mean, I don't like to use it unless there's an emergency. Trust me, Duncan. This is what we call a fashion emergency. That'll be $730.16. Oh, look, Duncan, it's Club Alien. Club what? Club Alien, that new club that just opened. We should go there. Okay, we can go there. After the dance, of course. <laughs> you know, you look a lot like President Richmond's daughter. Really? I've always thought she was so much prettier than me. Bye. What's your policy on returning items? Uh, there's no return on sale items. Uh, you ready to go to the dance? Yes, but could I have a little bitty favor? Uh, sure. Like what? Could I drive? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm really not supposed to let anybody else drive the car. I thought it was yours. Thanks, Duncan. <laughs> oh.
Okay. Easy. Slow. Slow, slow, slow. So then the client comes back to me. And do you remember this, Charlie? Yes, I and do. he says, but I thought it was a portable vacuum cleaner. That story gets funnier every time you tell it, Herb. Charles, honey, we need more ice. We need a great okay. Herb, look, I have to get more ice. Don't tell any more funny stories until I get back. You got it, Charlie. <laughs> Herb, he could make a hyena laugh. here for the party? No, sweetie. We're federal agents with the Secret Service. May we please speak to your mommy or daddy? And may I inquire as to the reason of your visit tonight? Charles, you can kill him when he gets home. There's nothing you can do about it right now. Oh, yes, there is. I can make sure that Herb, my boss, doesn't find out that our teenage son has taken the company car for a joyride. Oh, how is he ever going to find out? Oh, for heaven's sake. Mom, Dad, the Duncan is out with the president's daughter? I'm afraid so, ma'am. And you're gonna have to come with us. You can bring your own car if you'd like. Of all the nights...